with the blessing of Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Well, Arkansas's Attorney General is making a move to really send us all back to separate but equal in the state school system. Indeed, the state's top attorney, Tim Griffin, insists that racism is over and segregation is a thing of the past. It's a non-issue. So there's no longer a need for Arkansas schools to be subject to government oversight. Here are the details. This week, Griffin filed briefs to repeal the federal desegregation supervision that keeps the districts from having to comply with the state law that allows students to leave their home districts and enroll in other public school districts. And Griffin said this in a statement. School choice is the law today in Arkansas. Unconstitutional race-based consent decrees from decades past are denying equal rights to parents to select the school that best meets the needs of their children. Despite segregation ending decades ago, several school districts have left outdated consent decrees on the books and rely on them to opt out of school choice, thereby avoiding competition and retaining funds for students who would otherwise leave. Yeah, that was the Arkansas Attorney General. Now, Whitney Moore, who is an attorney for school districts there. Well, the school districts in particular that have resisted the school choice law, well, she pushed back and said this. Although racially discriminatory practices on the part of the districts themselves ended years ago, there are other issues at play, including the potential for Arkansas school choice law to open districts up to the problem of white parents fleeing the districts and taking state funding with them. Yes, white flight, that is what happens when you put these kind of school voucher systems into play, which Arkansas is doing. She also said, Though through the years, all of these districts have taken the position that they are non-discriminatory in their operations, but the white flight issue persists and therefore participating in school choice has a segregative impact. That's right. Moore also said that two of the school districts she represents were already planning to move towards school choice in the future, but the other two are likely to resist Griffin's move. Uh, we've seen this before and I'm not surprised that they're doing it again. And it's interesting because just back in 2020, 2021, they had an issue in Arkansas where there was requested $8 million of funding toward a school district and the majority, vast majority of the funding went to white schools as opposed to the black school. And so it's clear that they still have very much a separate but equal problem yet. Well, Griffin wants the federal oversight to go away, yeah. Very, very much a Republican move on his behalf, Cenk. The push to privatize schools has everything to do with this. So as Sarah Huckabee Sanders is pushing resegregation in Arkansas, she's also pushing privatization. Now, how are those two things related? So privatizing the schools leads to profits for private industry, which is of course who Republican politicians serve exclusively. And so they're happy to you know, funnel that money to them. And then the people who run those organizations then give campaign contributions to crooked Republicans like Sarah Huckabee Sanders. So profit is half the equation. But the other half people don't talk about as much. A lot of times those vouchers are not enough to cover the entirety of the private school. So you have to put in a little extra. But because of socioeconomic conditions in America, a lot of times minority Households don't have that little extra, so they stay in the public schools. But white families add on top and go into the private schools. And voila, you resegregated Arkansas. And this, in the home of the Little Rock Nine, is pretty symbolic and pretty devastating for how backwards our country has gone since basically 2015 when Trump entered the scene. And this is also too, you know, to think about like how this is politically branded an effective way to highlight on, you know, the whole wokeism thing because anybody who has an issue with this is against uh, choice, is against uh, the movement for people to be able to choose where their children go. So this also deepens the divide between voting blocks and asks for more um, hyper politicization to go into the equation because anybody who argues against this, that's all they're gonna say. So definitely expect that, oh, you're just being woke. You don't want parents to have choice. Um, but like you said, all this does is um, you know, just make it so that districts get more poor and resources and human resources get pulled out of areas that need them. So that's all it is. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. 
you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.